Last time we were actually able to send a request to Reddit and log into our Reddit account essentially. We were able to get this mod hash and this session cookie from the Reddit website and we got a successful server response obviously because we were able to log in. Now in this video we're going to go over how to save the mod hash and save the cookie in shared preferences so that it can be referenced every time we make a post or make a comment or do anything on Reddit because you need you need these things. This is essentially what it means to be logged in. If you don't have a mod hash and you don't have a cookie, you are essentially not logged in. So we're going to work on that in our login activity. So first of all what I want to do is refine this. I want to comment out this uh, this response that we're just reading here and I want to actually get the mod hash and get the cookie so I'm gonna go string mod hash equals response dot body dot uh, get JSON dot get data and then dot get mod hash and uh, the the cookie is gonna be very similar so I'm gonna copy that line I'm gonna call this cookie and I'm just gonna call get cookie and then I'm going to uh, copy this log here and put it below the cookie and the mod hash and I'll go mod hash equals mod whoops mod hash why isn't it because I oh spelled it wrong that's why so there's mod hash and then also I want to log the cookie just so I know that I'm actually getting that correctly and before I proceed I want to make sure this is working so I'm going to run the app and just play it and I want to make sure that I'm getting the mod hash and I'm getting the cookie and there's not any extra sort of data floating around that I don't want so let's go to the login screen and I'm going to type coding with Mitch and my password and of course you should be using your reddit account not my reddit account and now let's take a look at the log scroll down to the very bottom and don't see anything. What if I type mod hash? I'm um, not sure what is going on here. There's the app starting, and it doesn't look like the log was working properly. I'm going to go back and we'll see if it's actually even responding. So that's fine. Now let's go to the login screen. Um, yeah, on create started. Okay. Let me just try logging in again really quick here. Quick login. It says attempting to log in, but I don't see any logs printing. I also don't get that server. Oh, there we go. It just took a second. Okay, so there we go. We have our server response, and we have our mod hash, and we have our cookie. So everything looks good. We just need to figure out a way to save those. So we're going to create a method, and um, I'm going to call it save session params. Actually, I'll call it set session params, and these are going to store our session parameters. So the session parameters are going to be the username, the mod hash, so mod hash, and string cookie. And I want to change that. There we go. Then we need to create our shared preferences object. So I'm just going to call it preferences equals preference manager dot get default shared preferences and then I can just pass the context and then we need to create our editor so I can start typing editor we'll call it editor equals preferences dot edit okay now we're ready to use shared preferences and I just want to log the fact that we're actually going to be saving some new session parameters so I'm going to say storing session variables variables I forgot how to spell that for a second there and do a new line and then plus enter tab over just log the username so username plus oh forgot to do the new line do, oh what happened there new line and plus once again and I'm going to copy that whole line go down here and paste it and one more and paste it and then I'm going to close that off so in this one and this one we'll go mod hash and this one we'll go cookie and then here we'll go mod hash and cookie. There we go. So that, that will actually log the session parameters that we're trying to save. I just want to make sure that I log everything just for debugging, makes my life easy in the future if there's ever any problems. And now I'm gonna call a string variable which I'm gonna call session mod hash. Actually I'll make yeah that's fine, I can do mod hash like that and then pass the mod hash just like that 
and then editor.commit to commit it to memory. And then I'm going to save this, or sorry, repeat this for, actually what I'll do is I'll make this one the username. So session username and pass the username, then the mod hash, and this one's going to be session uh, cookie, and then pass the cookie. Okay, so that will actually save all those in memory. Now we need to go to strings and we need to actually create these. So I'm going to save that. I just copied that and let's paste that. So I don't have to go back to the activity and let's do, this is going to be, what was it? It was just session username, I think, right? Yeah, session username. it another two times and this one will be mod hash and then copy and paste and then this one will be the cookie and copy and paste there we go so now our strings are all set up and it should be saving those into memory just fine so we'll go back up into our call here and this one to do a tiny bit of exception handling I want to say if mod hash uh, actually, if not mod hash dot equals empty, that means we have something that we can save. Because remember, a negative server response is going to give us like a bunch of stuff. It's not going to give us this. We will we'll, we'll, we'll definitely have no mod hash. So a good check would be if the mod hash is there, that means we're good. So we're going to do uh, set session params, and we'll pass the username and what was the next one? Mod hash and then the cookie. And if, we are, if we're successful in logging in, we also want to get rid of that progress dialog. So we can go uh, m progress bar set visibility view dot gone. And we also want to reset the text for the username and the password. So we can go m username set text to nothing and m password set text to nothing. But we, we're going to redirect anyway, so that doesn't really matter so much. And we're going to print out a toast and do the context and we can just go login successful just to let the user know that they were actually successful in logging in. Oh, we'll also want to put the progress bar down below here for when the call is finished. And I want to add something that I uh, figured out from just testing. I'm going to add a null pointer exception here just to anticipate a null pointer exception error. So grab this and we're going to throw everything inside of the null pointer and we'll just do copy that I know I got a few of them when I was testing um, not not 100% sure of why at this point I didn't really investigate too far I just surrounded it in a try catch and kind of moved on so that's the same thing I'm gonna do here so now we got all that set up we and we're gonna be able to save our session parameters when we log in which is great um, now what I want to do is be able to to redirect to whatever activity we were at previously to the login screen so if we're on the app and I'm in any activity like if I'm in this activity or if I go to like a comment thread if I go to a comment thread if I'm in this activity and then I go to the login screen I want to be able to redirect to whatever activity I was in previously so what we can do actually is we can just add a simple little finish um, method right here once you call this method it's going to redirect you to whatever activity sent you to this activity. So that sounded confusing, but so if I'm in comments activity and I use an intent to navigate to login activity and I use finish, it will then go back to comments activity. Same thing with main activity. If I'm in main activity and I navigate to login activity and finish is called, then it will go back to main activity. So very simple. I'll add a little bit of comment here. So navigate back to previous activity and that's it so let's actually test this and see if we're able to save our session parameters and redirect to the activity that we um, tried to log in from all right so here we're in main activity uh, let's let's actually go to comments activity so we'll go to a post and we're in the comments activity now so now let's go to login and let's attempt to log in so go coding with Mitch Maybe Mitch Tabian 1234 exclamation mark and I want to open the log so we can watch the log when I log in. 
and press login. See it's loading, logging successful, it closes and it redirects back to the activity that we were previously in. Now I want to check the log and we can see storing session parameters that variables is called, sorry, set, set session parameters is called and it stores my username, stores the mod hash and it stores the cookie. So that's great. Everything looks like it's working correctly and there's been no errors so far. So that's going to be it for this video and the next one we're going to work on actually starting to figure out how we're going to be posting comments or po posting replies to those comment threads. Don't forget to leave a like, follow me on Twitter for notifications when new tutorials are posted, subscribe if you haven't already, and thanks for watching.